What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we are talking about expressions, and we're going to talk about the empty expression. So this is an expression that lets you figure out whether a string or an array is empty, and will return a true or false value based on that fact. So this could be particularly handy if you want to do some conditional logic, depending on if something does have a value or doesn't have a value, um, if you want to break things out, if you want to notify people because something's um, empty, for instance. So let's take a look at this function today. So we're in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger flow here, uh, and I've got a compose action here. So if I click into the compose, uh, I'm ready to over to expressions. Then I'm going to expand collection, and the third one down is one called empty collection. So it returns true if an object, array, or string is empty. So we can click on this. Um, there's only a single input it's asking for here, and that input is uh, we're going to choose our input from the manual trigger up here. Um, so what this is going to do, this is going to run, see whether this input is empty or not. If it is empty, it will return a true. If it's not empty, it will return a false. So we'll click OK, it goes into there, and then let's test it. So I'll perform the trigger action, and I'm just going to put something in here. I'm going to hit Run Flow, click Done and then we can see it's returned false. So it's returned false because it is not empty. So that's what this function does. It runs through, it finds out if something is empty or not, and returns a true or false value. So if I run this again, if I click test, I'll perform the trigger action, click test, and this time, if I don't put anything into the input box, then it will return a true value. Um, it's just taking a second to load. Okay, let's cancel that. Let's try that once more. There we go. So I'm not gonna put anything in the import box this time. I'm just gonna hit run flow, click done. And then we can see that the import has returned true. So it's returned true because I didn't have anything in this output here. In this it says output, but in this input that we put into the uh, into the um, manual trigger flow box. So that's how you uh, find it for a string. Same thing for uh, an array. So we click over to our array. Um, so this is a manual trigger flow. Uh, we initialize a variable here, which is an array. I've covered this in a previous video. If you'd like to know more about that, you can check out that video. Then we have a compose action down here. So in the compose, we're going to go down to expression, and we're going to choose the empty um, empty function here. Uh, and then in here, we're going to put the list, which is actually this initialized variable that we have up here, which is an array. So this array contains two records. So if I click OK now and I test this, click test, click run flow, click done. So the array contains two records. So I'm assuming this is going to say false. False. So that array did contain data and therefore it it you know returns a false value. So again, this is really good if you need to return false true or false values to then do some conditional logic to notify users if uh, an array is empty. Maybe you're trying to get some data back from an API. If it doesn't return something, maybe you need to let someone know. Um, same thing for a string. If a string is empty and you're expecting something, maybe you need to add in a degree of error handling with your flows in your Power Automate uh, solution. So yeah, I think this is great. What do you guys think and what do you guys use this for now? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you could like and share this video with your friends, that's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.